All right, guys, this is Dr. Michael Coe, um, physical therapist. And what I want to do is talk to you about not really so much today using this specific product and how to breathe better, but I want you to think about how you're just breathing in general, because if you can uh, get a better breath um, that and then add this on top of it, um, it's like turbocharging your, your breathing, right? It'll just make the breathing and the, and the effectiveness of this uh, tool a lot better, right? But you got to think about how your body is moving first in general with the breathing, right? So uh, my f only question about this in this video is going to be, what moves first when you take a deep breath in terms of what's going on here, all right? So I want you to think about, so go ahead and take a deep breath and think about what moves first. Now, it'll usually be roughly one of three things, right? It's either going to be your belly moves first and expands first, right? Or it's going to be, you're going to get this lower rib cage that expands outwards, or you're going to be the chest moves first, right? So out of those three, I want you to think about for a second, which one do you think is going to be the best and which one's the worst? All right. So the best is going to be the stomach moving first, right? Because that to me is an automatic sign that you're doing a better job breathing with your, um, with your diaphragm. And out of the three, the worst is the chest, right? So we oftentimes will uh, categorize people between chest breathers and abdominal breathers, right? Chest breathers is bad. Now, the reason why chest breathing is bad is that you're really activating one, um, a lot of what we call accessory uh, muscles of breathing. So there are muscles that are only really supposed to be active when you're being chased by a cheetah, right? When you have that sympathetic response or going, you think you're about to die or you gotta protect yourself, right? Um, when you're about to get in a fight or something, right? So those would be muscles more like the scaly muscles in your neck. Uh, pec minor is a big one too, right? And what those muscles do, they actually just, when they activate, they lift the ribs straight up towards your face, right? So what'll happen is if you're utilizing those muscles more, you'll get more of this uh, rib elevation, right? And but that's what happens when you breathe. So if you're using your abdominals, the abdominal, oh, sorry, your, your diaphragm, the diaphragm works in a very different way in how it moves the ribs. So if you're getting a diaphragmatic breath and it rests, it starts at it is a U and it connects to the lower ribs. And when you activate those muscles, they, those muscles shorten. And, but in order, when they shorten, they actually push, flatten out and they push your abdominal contents down. So if you're initiating the movement with the diaphragm, what should happen is that as that muscle pushes down, now the contents with the abdomen has nowhere to go. So all it can do is just go out. So if you're really activating the diaphragm, the muscles will turn on, push the abdominal contents down. We're talking about your stomach, liver, intestines. They get pressed down, so then the stomach has to expand. And so the expansion is more of an outward motion, right? And then the ribs have to follow afterwards. And you get more of this expansion of the rib cage outwards, right? Instead of the elevation where it just goes straight up. Those are two very different motions within the ribs. And so if you're trying to get a better expansion of the lung tissue when you take that deep breath, what should happen is as that diaphragm turns on and then pushes things down, now you've this uh, balloon here, which is your lungs, now has a lot more space to fill up down into the lower part of the rib cage. Now, if you're doing more of a uh, chest elevation, now what happens is you don't actually get that expansion. You don't create that space down here, so then the lungs can't expand the way that they're supposed to. Right? So what you have to do is really think about where is the movement of the breath being started, right? So if all you guys are chest breathers, you got to change that up. You got to start with getting that belly down and activating and getting expansion of the belly. The problem is, I'm going to say is that, uh, is that people who don't really breathe with their belly, I'm going to say a large part of it is, especially if you're guys you're watching or even girls, everyone wants a flat stomach. Right? You don't want to let that stomach just hang out and go like gravity pull down, right? Shoot, I got dad bod, man. I always want to have to uh, suck into my stomach. But, uh, but if you want that proper activation, you just got to let that sucker hang out, right? So there's going to be this uh, external um, force, right? Visually, what we think it was a nice body in today's society is going to be a flat stomach. Or you might be someone who just always like turns on their abs because they want to have either um, a stronger back because they, they were taught that you have to activate your muscles when you're with your abdomen to have a, a stronger back, right? Or they want to just keep their stomach fl flat when they're uh, around other people, right? But what that does is it doesn't allow you to expand your abdominals. And if you can't expand your abdominals, you can't expand your rib cage. Therefore, your diaphragm is not doing its job at all.
right? So that's another thing you have to get, get over is if you're going to get proper breathing through this tool, you got to be able to breathe normally afterwards too. And one of those things you just got to let that uh, gut go, right? So think about that. Practice it. Think about it. If you're doing it, if you're taking that deep breath, do you do it? Or do you even with your normal breathing when you're not thinking about breathing, is that same thing happening? Is there, are you, do you just keep uh, initiating in the chest or are you now initiating down more in the lower abdomen? And sometimes you have to think about changing that, uh, that, that movement pattern down, down below. And that'll take a long, long time. It'll take many months before you can really make it happen naturally. But today is a good day to start. All right, guys, if you have any questions or any, uh, any other comments, go ahead and comment below. All right. I'd love to hear anything you guys have to say. Thanks.